Yo, okay, so what I'm about to do, I'm really excited. Just one of the things I talked about in my previous video, if you watched it, uh, number four-ish, it's related to number four. This tour that's coming up, and as of a couple hours ago, it's still happening. One of the things that I'm looking forward to it is that every tour, I like to build a new version of my drum set. I get to, uh, you know, think of new ways to improve my setup. Do I really need three snares? Do I need four cymbals? Do I need a splash, like a clap stack, knowing the venue sizes? Do I need to downscale that gear? Blah, blah, blah. The first part of all that for me always is like assessing what I have, what needs to be changed. Do I need to hit up any of the endorsement companies and say, hey, I have a store coming up. Is there anything new you want me to try out? Is there anything that I could kind of road test for you guys? Is there anything, uh, is there anything that I could play that I don't have that you think would be cool for me and also the show? All that being said, you can tell I'm driving. I'm heading to Tama. Tama has like an LA location where they have offices and I'm going there to pick up what I think is maybe a couple different snares, maybe some hardware. Well, Sam's great. Sam's my hardest friend. And he's usually pretty awesome about this kind of stuff. Anywho, uh, montage. Pulling up right now. I'm gonna send a text. And uh, we should be inside of Tama very soon. I'm pretty excited. I have to take my mask off. I'm excited. Whoa. Check this out. It's gonna be a good time. I am so excited. Three drums on loan. Uh, drum number one, Kenny Aronoff, Trackmaster. Five or five and a half by 14? Second drum, Walnut Star. Six and a half by 14. Next drum, six by 14, 14 by six, who cares? Solid shell steam bent mahogany. I'm excited about those. I got a bunch of like clamps and stuff I need for tour. I got a rug. I'm driving back home. Thanks for watching this part of the video. The next part will be me setting up my tour kit, which should be fun. Here we go. I mean, this candle smells amazing. I'm just sitting here working on music. Because, okay. I'm here in my studio, I'm learning the music. I bought a couple things, I'm excited. A couple things to add to the kit uh, or replace. Some things I don't want to take on tour because I know I'm going to beat it up and other people are going to beat up. So I got a couple more things and they just got delivered. Uh, so here's some behind the scenes, just writing the charts. My FedEx guy is awesome because he always just puts it inside of my little gate here. Look at that. So here's the stuff. Nope. Wow. Nineteen inch exist. Twenty two exist crash. <laughs> I actually have to get rid of the whole kit. I have to set up for a cello session later tonight. Um, and also learn like four or five new songs uh, that were just sent. All that being said, next time you see this kit will be at the rehearsal spot uh, set up. All right, so this is me at the rehearsal spot with one of our techs, our backline tech, Jono, who's here in a lot of these videos. And then a brief appearance by our front of house guy, Sebastian, because he's trying to figure out what the heck a clap stack is and how to mic it. And I said, just point a mic at it, it'll sound great. All right, here's the kit. It's my 20 inch Rogers vintage kick drum. It's a holiday, a 12, 14, 16 inch Tama Birch Babinga drums. Star Walnut, six and a half by 14. Deep snare, those are mini temps up there. A five by 10, like popcorn thing, the pads, 
the clap stack, uh, the Istanbul symbols. This is the Kenny Aronoff signature drum, and I just use uh, Promark a corn tip five Bs. This is the end of the video. We've reached the end. But day one of rehearsals was yesterday. Today's the morning of day two of rehearsals, and that's the kit. I'm really excited about the kit. I'm really excited how it's responding to the music because there's old catalog, there's new catalog. Yeah, just like adding new parts to the kit, which is really cool. And I made this video last night, and I looked wrecked. I haven't had to play drums that hard in a long time, that long in a hard time. If you were to build this kit, what would you add to it? Like what, or if you were on a pop gig, like what's what's the thing, what are like the essentials you need? And then what are the like things for you or the things that are required? I don't know. Leave a comment, subscribe, the, the YouTube thing. See you next Friday.